Cayman? You coming? Sorry. You know, if you need more time to rest... I'll take that as a no. Pardon my saying, sir, but you seem a bit distracted. I mean, I can hardly blame you, but... Imperials. That's fine. You know, I, I really didn't mean to set you off earlier. It's alright, Arden. Again, it's not your fault. I'm just worried about... close. Yep. Come on. I was going to say I worried about the test. Are you going to tell me what happened there? Also? Because, you know, just sitting here putting pieces together, or trying to, and... Careful of the goats, they can be rather rambunctious. Great, sun's coming up. Long night. Careful. Fine, Arden. I'm, yeah, bleeding a little bit. Ow. Yeah, crossbows. Don't worry about it. Don't scare me like that. <laughs> you don't want to talk. Legionnaires. Probably don't need to sneak around them. You were going to tell me what happened.
What? It's... Kind of classified. Classified? Don't man, you sound like... You sound like a legionnaire yourself. I suppose I can tell you with broad strokes. But it'll have to be just broad strokes for the time being. Have I ever told you about... Mafala? You know, the way you said that kind of... No, you haven't. I don't think. I don't remember. You know, you and... Kinawa kind of... You seem to be two of a kind. Well, she was trying to tell me something earlier, yesterday? I suppose it's yesterday now, isn't it? She just couldn't spit it out. I'm not sure if it was because it was something important to her, or she seemed to think I would think that she was weird. I mean, I don't blame her. But... On the other hand, magic is kind of a weird thing, and I am a mage, so... Let's just get inside. Doing this in broad daylight, but right here we are. Exactly doing a good job of being stealthy, are we? Precious forest's head. Jeez. Ah! 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 Ah
Quanarin indeed. Yikes. You have the scrolls? I do. Now, of course, we just have to find Dexian. Any idea where they might have left him? None whatsoever. Never mind. Dexian. We've got your scrolls here. Yes, how may I serve you, my lord? I'm afraid I won't be able to help you with the scrolls any longer, my lord. Please, do not be angry with me. What? What are you talking about? I'm afraid in my haste to read the first scroll, I neglected the time I needed to prepare. The failure is purely mine to bear. As you can see from my bandages, it's not that I am unwilling, it's that I am physically unable. You're blind. Oh, please, my lord. Please, forgive me. He doesn't really have to... I don't suppose there's a cure, is there? If only such a miracle existed, I'd overcome the impossible in order to secure it, if it meant pleasing you. Yikes. Well... We'll have no further need of you, then. Rest easy. Although I would gladly die by your hand, perhaps I could offer an alternative way to read the scrolls. That's not what I... Go on. Oh, thank you, my lord. Thank you. Scattered across Tamriel are secluded locations known only as Ancestor Glades. There's one in Skyrim in the Pine Forest. Performing the ritual of the Ancestor Moth within the Glade should provide the answers you seek. Explain this ritual. It involves carefully removing the bark from a canticle tree, which will in turn attract Ancestor Moths to you. Once enough of the Moths are following, they'll provide you with the second sight need needed to decipher to the scrolls. What? Can I assist you? Carefully no, gather the bark. No, I don't need anything right now. How? Please, stop asking. In keeping with tradition, yes. you must yes. use a specific tool in the Ancestor Glade, an implement known as a draw knife. Every moth priest is taught this ritual, but few ever get the chance to perform it. You should consider yourself fortunate if it works for you. <laughs> Do we need to read the scrolls in any particular order? From what I saw in the vision, the Elder Scroll which foreshadows the defiance of the gods with the blood of mortals is the key to the prophecy. Right. What went wrong, exactly? Deciphering one of the Elder Scrolls is nothing like reading a simple book. There is quite a bit of ritual and concentration required. It can take months or even years to complete a single scroll, and even then, months to recover. How is a moth related to Elder Scrolls? Well, as I'm sure you figured out by now, it's no mere coincidence that we're named Moth Priests. The voice of the Ancestor Moth has always been an integral part of reading the Elder Scrolls. Moths barely make a sound. Oh, the moths don't literally read the scrolls, but they maintain a connection to ancient magic that allows the moth priests to decipher them. If you listen closely when you find the glade, you should be able to hear their song, a soft, harmonious trilling. It's through this ancestral chorus that the moths tap into a form of primal augur and become a conduit for deciphering the scrolls. How does that help? By having the Ancestor concerned? Moths what? close to can the I Moth Priest, they can no, utilize the Conduit and no, share the Moth's augury. Right Only the Please most resilient of priests can yes. do it this way. 
It takes years of practice to interpret the harmony. Then... Uh, never mind. Do we even stand a chance if that's the case? You've come this far, and you've found several Elder Scrolls. Whether you believe it or not, the Scrolls have a mind of their own. If they did not want you to find them, they would not allow it. Because of this, I strongly believe you were meant to hear the Ancestral Chorus. Only one way to find out. Yeah, that makes sense. Fortune smile upon you, my lord. Hearing things is kind of my specialty. Well, reading things is kind of mine. Do you want to do it? Well, I mean... Kind of. Um... Should we rest here for the night? Or well, the day, rather, and get... <clears throat> so... You saw I was with Kinnewal, right? Yeah. She's gonna need one of those scrolls when we're done. So we're gonna have to go back and get her anyway. Yeah, let's rest here for the night. Alright. Try not to get yourself in trouble. Likewise. And we'll decide who reads the scrolls once we get there. Although... You've got the eyes. I've got the ears. I don't know. One of the two of us. Ah, uh, I'll think about it. We'll think about it. You rest. I'll rest. You had a long, rough day, so... Yeah. And grab some potions while you're at it. I swear, every time I find you out here, you... Never mind. Yeah, I know. Have it. Not used to having people around anymore. Which implies that you used to have people around at least some of the time. You are quick. Was there any doubt? Actually, don't answer that. There wasn't. I've been part of a few organizations over the decades. Worked with teams, lived with teams, that kind of thing. Was part of a bandit gang for a while when things got really hairy, which is where I met Zaytast. You two were... Bandits? Really? What? You think me more noble than a common cutthroat? As a matter of fact, I do. And I'm sure Miss Kinawa would agree with me. I should probably clarify that Zaytest was a courier. I taught her how to use a bow properly and restart her a thing or two about daggers, but... She wasn't the combat type. I was the one going out and... being a bandit. Is that why you were questioning Kinawa calling you a good person? I've done worse than robbing and killing people, Arden, and I'm not proud of any of it. But you're past that now. All of that is behind you, right? I don't know. Maybe not. The fire thing. I got sloppy on a job once before I became a bandit. Her name was Emily. I let my guard down. She took advantage of it, and... There was a fire. Friends, close friends, ones I considered family, died in that fire. I nearly died in that fire. Left her with a limp and a missing tongue for what she did. Oh. So when I... When I collapsed and Mephala showed me a fire and... A test. I had to at least try to save her. You, a vampire, ran into a fire to save Zaytes. Reckless, foolish mistake, I realize. She wasn't even there, she was safe, I just panicked. Reckless and foolish, perhaps, but... 
Well, that explains it. Thank you for telling me. I didn't realize the two of you were... F f family? Pretty much. She and I are all that's left of the Brazen Clan. And that's why I'm so worried about leaving her in solitude. She'll be alright. If she had you to teach her and she has that blue... Kaji with her? Why is he blue? Zaytest has a contract right now. One that I should have taken myself rather than passed on to her. I'm kicking myself for it now. Do you think it's too dangerous for her? It could be. I'm afraid it might be. I was... I don't know what I was thinking. But now I'm thinking I promised her I'd stay with her for a while. I keep making promises that I don't keep. You're trying to help whoever you can. Maybe... Well, she has an ego with her, right? Yeah. Maybe give her a chance to prove herself. Inigo will be there to get her out if she gets stuck. Trust them. You know you're asking me to trust my own judgement here too, right? Er... Uh, maybe? I don't exactly have the best track record. There's always time to change that. Now come on, let's go get Kinawa and head down to the Glade. Think she'll be able to keep up? We'll take a carriage down to Falkreath and go from there. Give her a chance to sleep if she can. Yeah. And... Arden. Mm-hmm. You're... Thanks. Felicity, I mean. And talking me out of being overprotective. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Get in the boat, Quinarin. Oh, great. After you, my lord. <laughs> oh, it's on now. There's another one over there somewhere. I need to, um, calm that down a little bit. Now I... Oh, okay. Now I see why Yarnvito was so, um... You know, the, the Dawn Guard thing. Yeah. I was going to say it shouldn't be too much longer now, but... It's, uh, Ancestor Glade. Up in the hills somewhere. You holding up alright? I'm fine. I'm more worried about you at this point. You lot have been rather quiet on the road. Dare I ask why? Proving my point. Uh, well, I'm not used to operating at these hours, but... It's okay. I think we're all just thinking about stuff. And I'm sure having Serana around isn't making you any less nervous, is it, Kinoa? Mm. Her now. Right, ah, uh, I keep forgetting I can do that. Much better. What? Vampires can see in the dark. Do you mean to tell me you've been on the road this whole time? Just completely... Yeah, yeah, I'm... Uh, are we going... we're going entirely the wrong direction. I am an idiot. Sorry, guys. And girls. No, guy and girls. Brief. Hi, ah, uh, back here. Crud. Yep. 
Yeah, that's about what I expected to see. <sighs> I'd wait, but... I think the sun will be coming out sooner rather than later. And there's... That's terribly creepy. Here, plate armor. Yep, I did. I was gonna ask you... The, just words, but... Uh. Hello? Who's this, then? An Imperial Patrol, looks like. Somewhere there's going to be a path that goes up into the mountains. Not quite yet. Oh. Okay. Um, yeah, that's that's a problem. Oh, uh... They didn't see anything, come on. Were those vampire hunters by chance? Uh-huh. Which is why I'm saying, they saw nothing, let's go. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, yikes. Every time I forget this is actually here. I'm not sure if I've actually ever come up this road before. Am I just an idiot? Anyway. That's a big miss. <laughs> You're looking a bit more sparkly than usual there. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what's... Careful of the boulders. How? Never mind, let's just go. I was gonna ask, how do you shout exactly? It's not exactly the kind of lesson that you can give on the road, I'm guessing. Yeah, it's also ground... Pretty well tread at this point, I think. There we go. This looks more likely. Oh, yeah. And... Company? Question mark? Bandits. Where'd you come from? You know, this is a real big mistake. Sorry, Kinoa. Eh, it's all good. I've got a shield. Hey, this is where I killed that stag that one time. Interesting. A long story. An aspect of her scene. What? Uh, yeah, I, um, there was a werewolf in 
foul grease. And... It, long story short, I ended up having to go through a whole bunch of stuff and uncurse a ring. Or... It was, it was just, it was un nuts. It was nuts. And it turns out I couldn't even save the poor guy. You've spoken with her scene. I... I guess. Interesting. Arden, I think you were right about us. What did he say about us? Were you talking about us behind our backs? Only behind yours, I'm afraid. I said you two are... Two of a kind. Thanks. You both have weirdness going on that you refuse to tell anyone else about. Okay, supposedly this is part of a path. Yeesh. Careful on the rocks. He says you have weirdness. I do. Mafala based weirdness. And Hersene based weirdness, if you can believe it. You're not a werewolf, are you? No, duh, of course not. You're a vampire. Shall we? This must be the place. I. I hope so. Oh. Yikes. That was a bit bright. Hmm. Not very impressive, is it? If this ends up being a wasted trip, your friend Dexian and I are gonna have some words when we get back. <laughs> yeah, so fun. Kind of... bland. This reminds me of... Bloated Man's Grotto. Somehow. It just has this... I don't know... Magical feeling about it. Interesting. Okay. Nice lighting. Oh. Oh, Mara. Wow. Look at this place. No one's been here in centuries. I doubt there's any other place like it in Skyrim. It's beautiful. Holy... This is a magical place. I hear those moths that... So I... I take it we've come to the agreement that I'll be the one reading the scrolls? I mean... You do have the ears for it, but... Yeah, sadly, I feel like my ears are needed elsewhere. Not elsewhere, elsewhere, but... I know what you mean. This place is beautiful. It feels like... I don't know. Like Kine herself built this place. You two really are two of a kind, aren't you? How exactly do we- oh. I'm- I'm just blind. Heh, <laughs> funny. Funny stupid. Anyway. Uh, oh, draw knife. We need one of those. Wow, look at these trees. This place is gorgeous. Really gorgeous. Well, we got the knife. Now all we need to do is track down one of those canticle trees. I'm gonna guess it's one of these big ones with the... Yeah. Considering... Yeah. 
Hope the moth like that bark as much as Dexian said they would. That was the least elegant thing I've ever done, but that's not true. The least elegant thing I've ever done was get shouted off the ledge by. Oh, look at them. They've definitely taken a liking to you. By this can work. things, you're starting to glimmer. I mean, that's kind of normal with him. Hey, 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 hey. None of that now. Okay. Moth gathering time. There were plenty on the way down. Is it getting... Uh, of course it's getting brighter in here. With any luck, I'm not going to start burning. Hello, Moss. Yeesh. Do you hear anything? <laughs> nope. Uh, nothing at all. Well, I mean, yes, I hear plenty of things, but none of them are moths. I, I, I kind of am starting to glitter, aren't I? Weird. Uh, some of my... I'm not gonna be able to... Hello? More moths? And hello, more moths. Okay, yeah. Yep, you've definitely got some kind of aura going on. I'll say. You're, uh, practically sparkling there, my lord. Uh, don't start with me, Quinarin. What did you just call him? It sounded like it was in the dragon tongue, kind of. Well, you should know, right? You are dragonborn. I mean, I can read them, kind of, but I can't read them, read them, and I... It's hard to explain. Good grief. Hello, Moz. Okay. I think that might have been what we were waiting for. Let's head back up there and see if we can read the scrolls. Yeesh. Uh, yeah, that's bright. Very. Good grief, Arden. I, I feel... Oh, what is it? Uh, have have you ever seen anything like this? It's not like anything else in Skyrim, I can tell you that much. From now or before. Oh, I- There's probably groves like this all over Tamriel. Most people just don't even know what to look for. I was kind of talking about the malls, but... Yep. I'm right behind you. Yep, yep, yep. I am surrounded by malls. This is great. They are... Kind of annoying to be truth truth be told. That is hard to look at. Good grief. Well this may be a stupid idea, but there's one other thing I want to try. Uh you're not gonna use your eye thing on them, are you? I mean I might as well. Everything's gone according to plan with these malls, I should be fine regardless, but, you know. When am I ever gonna get the chance to read an Elder Scroll again? I mean, if you want to climb up a mountain with me, but... I know what you mean. Time is of the essence, as they say. Great. Wish me luck. Arden. Is it worth losing your vision to do this? Of all the people who could have asked me that, better me than either of you. You've lost one eye already, and you, well... The wheel turns upon the last dragonborn. Be careful, then. I'm not sure we'll be able to heal you if you go blind. I'll be fine. And besides, I'll still be able to hear and smell and feel. I... I hope. 
I'll be quite honest, I didn't even consider that this might not work until I got this far. Well, I guess there's no going back now, is there? Okay. All right. Here we go. Okay, I'm getting something. Rivers, mountains. I think Okay, uh... Markov... Okay, I see where we're going. I think. It's gonna be... When this takes its place at the eight corners of the world, when the brass tower Are you okay? I... I... Uh, yeah, I... I'm fine, I think. How do I... How do I stop... This thing? How long was I? Are you all right? Uh, can you see? Uh, yeah, yeah, I can. I can definitely see. I think I saw your orbs just now, or something. God, that was um. Are you okay? Almost thought I lost you there. You went as white as the snow. Can confirm. You were a lot paler than usual. That was... entirely... um... I think my brain might be a little bit broken. I could see it in your eyes. You looked about a thousand leagues away. What about Ariel's bow? Do you know where we can find it? Yeah. A uh, cave. Dark fall cave. It's kind of... um... North of Markarth in the mountains. Then it's almost over. We can finally rewrite the prophecy as we see fit. Where is this Darkfall cave? North of... I, I can take you there. I, I know where it is. Then let's get going. I want to get there before my father has a chance to track us down. Yeah. Yeah, got it. Ha <laughs> ha. Lead on. Jeez. I... You... Company. Show yourself! There they are. Whoop. 
Wrong room. Oh god. Sorry, Serrano, I can't aim. What in the troll? Of course. Oh. I'll stay out of your way. Anyone else? All the way up here. Really? Who? What? Oh. Yeah, I figured I'd come around and flank him. Pretty impressive. Thank you. I'm. You. That scared me. You're right, Serana. Hey. Um. I. I think I know why you were trying to ask me about pulling a white streak the other day. You... Are you alright? Yeah. I think... Maybe I read some things I wasn't supposed to... You're shaking again. Should I be worried? No, I think... I think not. I think we're okay. I think I'm okay. Nope. Although it is daylight out. Ooh, jeez! Oh, it was your... <laughs> you don't really seem... All that... with it. Should we take a break? Before we move on? Yeah, probably. I'm kind of amazed I still have my eyes, actually, considering all of that. going the wrong way, aren't I? I didn't. That was reckless in the extreme. I know. I know. You're gonna need one of these scrolls before you head back out, aren't you? Yeah. And that uh, You know about... You know about Pelinal? Yeah. I think. And I have two other names for you. Wolfhearth. And I'm sure you can guess the other one if, if you... It's dangerous to say that. 
it's dangerous to know that, and I don't really want to, um... There are stories of people getting killed. What? I wish I could tell you. I really do. Let's... Let's camp out for a, for a little bit. I'll recover. And we'll let you get on your way, Ismir. Sure. Oh, that was... Holy...